COVID-19. We all know that adults had to go through severe stress because of health issues, because of financial issues, because of social isolation, future uncertainties, multitasking. During lockdown, parents were at home, they were multitasking. Mothers were cooking, taking care of the children whose schools were closed, taking care of online classes. A lot of them had to actually learn how to do online classes also. And uh, there, were, there was a lot of added responsibilities. Substance abuse also increased in certain homes because of people who used alcohol, their alcohol intake increased, nicotine intake increased, domestic violence has increased. We also know that there are studies and reports where uh, across the globe uh, divorce rate has increased, domestic violence has increased. So uh, COVID-19 has actually added to the stress that we were already having in our lives. Children are also stressed because of social isolation, they, they can't go out to play, they can't go and connect with their friends, they can't go to school, they are staying indoors, their lifestyle has been changed, they have learned how to do online classes. Now, there's a lot of eye strain because of exposure to the, you know, the, to the uh, computer or to the mobile phone, smartphone. And a lot of these children have also become victims of internet addiction. We have seen that psychological disorders across the globe, they have doubled during COVID-19, especially depressive disorders, depression and anxiety disorders. People who have suffered from COVID-19, they also suffered, especially when I'm talking about a Delta variant where they had to go to ICUs. They suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder because this is again, you know, if they would often remember their own state when they were sick. And uh, they have su suffered from other psychological problems like uh, sleep disorders, insomnia, attention disorders, attention and concentration problems, etc. So uh, last three years has been very difficult and it has been a huge blow to our mental health and to, it has increased our stress levels. So uh, we need to actually think even more than before about how to manage stress, how to keep ourselves mentally healthy. In fact, before COVID-19 pandemic, uh, people hardly used to talk about mental health so openly. It was the COVID-19 pandemic where we heard about a lot of suicides also happening, which made us discuss and talk about mental health much more open, openly. And uh, the biggest enemy of mental health being stress, we also discussed, talked about stress openly and the stress management techniques. Now, uh, since we have discussed stress, what if we can't manage stress? I've already said that it leads to a lot of physical problems like diabetes mellitus, lifestyle diseases actually, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, dyslipidemia, etc. So apart from that, it leads to a lot of psychological disorders. It leads to decreased productivity. The psychological disorders uh, that are caused because of increased stress is again, because I'm repeating this, when stress is happening for a very long time, it has become chronic or it has become excessive, excessive in terms of amount. It's an exceptionally huge amount of stress that has come your way, that has been developed in your body in response to a stressor. When we talk about psychological disorders, we have to remember that uh, there is a biopsychosocial model of psychological disorders. Like what causes psychological disorder is an interaction between the biological, the psychological and the social causes. The biological causes basically talk about the uh, neurotransmitter changes uh, in psychiatric ailments. The psychological uh, issues are about personality issues, you know, the psychological factors which contribute to psychological disorders. So they are personality issues, issues of resilience. People who are more resilient will not fall a victim to psychological disorders easily. People who have good life skills will not fall a victim to psychological disorders easily. And the social part is about, you know, having social support because all of us know that when you have family and friends who can talk to you when, when you're not feeling okay, when you face a problem, if there are other people to sit with you and solve that problem, of course, you will not uh, go into depression so readily, you will not go into grief so readily, you will not go into anxiety so readily. So uh, here I would also mention about the role of hormones in the biological factors. So. Uh, Certain disorders like depression and anxiety are far more common, common in women as compared to men because of hormonal issues, because estrogen and progesterone in the female body have a role to play in the causation of these disorders also. And that is why since there is hormonal imbalance, especially before the menses in women or uh, just before menopause, that is perimenopausal period, 
or during pregnancy, there's a lot of mood swings, there is anxiety, depression, there's increased incidence of these disorders during the reproductive cycle of women. So we understand now that psychological disorder is a interaction of biological, psychological and social issues. Unmanaged stress can lead, make us develop one of these psychological disorder because we go into the stage of exhaustion. COVID-19 pandemic, according to global reports, has doubled the onset of psychological disorders because uh, it has been seen, a new study has shown that there is increased chance of developing a new mental health illness within three months of being diagnosed with COVID-19. So I have developed COVID-19 today, especially during the first and the second wave. Within three months, maybe I develop depression, maybe I develop anxiety. So uh, we have also seen something else during COVID-19 because of lockdown. A lot of psychiatric patients, you know, people who already had psychiatric disorders, pre-existing psychiatric illnesses, they couldn't come for regular follow-up. So they missed their medicines and there was relapse and recurrences. And because of the increase in stress also, there was a lot of relapse and recurrences of pre-existing psychiatric illness. Anxiety, depression, confusion, insomnia, poor concentration, memory, retention, etc. have been reported. And as I said, in, um, in COVID patients who have had to face the ICU, they have even suffered from something which is called the post-intensive care syndrome. Now, what is anxiety? I will briefly go through the very important psychological